Hey guys and welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So uh, yesterday we started a new series, What's My Coin Worth? And uh, we started with the uh, 5 cent coin and today we're doing the 10 cent coin. So uh, we'll follow uh, a similar line and we'll look at uh, some different uh, coins, uh, 10 cent coins that are uh, able to be found in circulation. Uh, some not so easy, um, but uh, like we started yesterday we'll have a look at the uh, mintages. Now, I do apologize, yesterday's video went for a lot longer than I thought it went, and I really didn't keep track of time, so we'll try and push through uh, the 10 cent coins a bit quicker, and um, I think later on in the uh, in the series, uh, once we probably get to the 50s, I don't know, we'll see, um, maybe the dollars or the two dollars, we might split the videos into uh, two videos just to uh, keep the time a little bit shorter. So um, I've been getting heaps of feedback from you guys, lots of comments on the videos, and I have been so busy. Um, I haven't had a heap of time to respond, but I will. Um, well, yeah, I'm not sure exactly when, but I, I will certainly try. Um, so please keep those comments coming, uh, and I will endeavour to uh, try and get back to you all. Um, Alright guys, let's have a look at this. So, the 10 cent coins, let's have a look at some of the low mintage ones. Um, Alright, what are we seeing here? Lots of double digits, and then the first sort of really true sort of low one is the 1985. So, only 2 million of those ones. Another low mintage one is the 1972. 12.5, not that low, but it's considered as one of the lower ones. Uh, what's another one? The 1991 at 4.8, the 1997 at 5.7, and my favourite, certainly it is one of my favourite coins. I love finding these guys. The 2011, uh, and I do have a fair bit of uh, success finding them at uh, 1.7 um, the 2016 changeover which we will have a look at today at 6.2 and uh, the 2018 very low mintage right there based on uh, what uh, was produced in the uh, annual report so it's a, a financial year so um, in the first half of 2018, uh, we've only got uh, 30,000 coins produced. We don't know what they produced in the second half of 2018, so we'll find that out at the around November 2019. So um, we'll get to see. But let's have a look at uh, what we are finding in our change and uh, see why we keep it and uh, whether it's worth holding on to. All right, so let's start off with the 1985 10-cent coin. So when we type that in, in on eBay, we can see that we have 31 results. So let's have a look and see what people are actually trying to sell. So we've got a few uncirculated coins there, the top three. Um, my feeling is that one's not uncirculated, but it does have a bid on it. Uh, we've got a day, 16 hours at this time still to go. And uh, it is... Currently at $4.99, it does offer free postage. So $5, uh, we've got some more uncirculated and some proof coins. What have we got there? Uh, someone's selling a combination. Another mint coin. Uh, so someone, oh, it's a New Zealand one. Okay. Uh, here's a good one. Uh, this one is lightly circulated. We'll have a closer look at it. Seven bids currently on this one. Yeah, I wouldn't call that lightly circulated. <laughs> That's fairly typical uh, condition for uh, a 10 cent coin. <laughs> to be honest, you'd probably find better ones. But uh, anyway, it's still 1985. Yes, it is low mintage, 2 million. And um, we've got seven bids on this coin. Uh, they are offering free postage, and it's up to seven dollars fifty. So um, good luck to them. Um, but uh, 
yeah, not easy to find. So certainly, um, certainly not too bad a dollar value there. Uh, anything really special? No. So, all right, let's have a look at the sold listings. So find out what they're actually worth. All right, so there we have one there, one bid, five dollars. Buy it now for six dollars ninety-nine. Uh, uncirculated. Sold for six dollars fifty. That's a bargain. That's from a mint set. That is a real bargain there. Um, basically the same sort of thing. About twelve dollars fifty. Uh, proof coin sold for four dollars twenty-five. Wow. Um, so this is this would be a circulated one. So we nine bucks for that one. So let's have a closer look if we can. Yeah, it's not in too bad a condition. Maybe slightly circulated. It doesn't have a heap of luster on it. What they say? Uh, it doesn't really say. All right. Well, they they did well. They got nine dollars plus uh, plus postage there. So um, yeah, certainly well worth finding and uh, well worth holding on to. Sure, if you want to sell them, sell them. Uh, who knows where the price is going to go? All right, guys. The next coin. We're going to keep this moving. I remember that. Um, now, what am I looking at here? Oh, we've got the sold listings ready up. I was having a look at that. Um, so we've got the 2016 10 cent changeover coin, 6 million. Um, people look like they're selling them in batches uh, or trying to sell them. Uh, we've got one there for $2.95. Oh, someone's bid on this one, lightly circulated, and it's at $2.29 with free postage. And here's another one, X Mint set, so six dollars fifty. Yeah, so these coins look like there's a few for sale. Let's just have a look at the sold figures on these ones. Uh, someone sold ten of them, uncirculated for six dollars fifty. Not bad, not bad. Um uh, you're sort of getting 10 times your money there, so it's um, a very good return. Four of them for $3.30 with free postage. There's one in a capsule, which is quite a nice coin. $4.50 with postage. Uh, boy, they did all right. $14.95 for... Uh, oh, it had a cut on it. It's, got an, it's an error coin. So keep an eye out for that. Maybe we should have a look at that because... I do tend to look, but don't seem to find... Okay, tiny little card right on the ribbon there. I'm holding it right in the middle of the screen. So, well worth looking out for that error when uh, when you're going through the coins. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back and have a look at mine. If, um, if you can get that kind of return for a little card like that, it must be fairly rare to have that card. So, um, keep an eye out for that, guys. I love just sort of going through to sort of see what, uh, what people are selling, what they're finding. Um, so, yeah, that sort of gives you a good insight into those coins. All right, the 2011, 1.7 million of these were made. Let's see what they're selling for. Someone's trying to sell one there for $8. Uh, what have we got? Here's one with a bid, $2.99. $14 for that one, $8. Uh, there's a uncirculated one starting off at 25 Not seeing any others with bids on them right now. Uh, this guy sold 40 of them. At uh, eight ninety five plus postage, so uh, it's not saying they're uncirculated, but uh, they might be fairly high grade. Let's just have a closer look. Yeah, they're high grade. Uh, what's he saying? Not a lot. I'd say they've been taken out of circulation, but uh, he's certainly selling quite a few of them and getting a very good return for his coin. 
All right, let's have a look at the sales on this one. All right, I think they sold two of them for eight dollars plus postage, so five dollars twenty-five each, including postage. Uh, four of them for fourteen dollars plus postage, six dollars fifteen. Um, all depends on the grade with these coins, so. Um, yeah, there we go. So five, six, seven dollars, depending on the coin, is a very nice return, including postage um, for one of these 2011 coins. And I'm lucky to be able to find a fair few of them here in the uh, southeastern suburbs of Melbourne. Um, and uh, I know that I've heard from plenty of you that you struggle to find them. Um, and uh, but uh, keep an eye out, they are certainly scarce, uh, but well worth holding on to. All right, now what have I done here? Let's go back a bit. I was having a look at a few uh, 1999 10 cent era coins, so um, and in particular, I think I showed on a video recently that I hadn't found one of these for a while but as I was noodling along I found a uh, 10 cent with a really big uh, cud on it and um, just have a look at this one here uh, what's this guy got no it's, it, it's in a similar spot but not the cud that I'm looking for I've found about uh, maybe Eight to ten of this one. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, this one here. See that big cud there? So this is why I'm showing you today because we did find one of these. So let's have a look at what the um, what the sales are and uh, what they're actually selling for. All right, let's go back out of here. All right, so a lot of auctions here uh, for cut coins, and um, uh, let's go to the sold listings. All right, so this one was at two dollars. This one had a few different cut coins, and three dollars fifty for these ones. So uh, let's have a look. See if we got. Uh, yeah, okay, so, yeah, might be worth like a dollar, dollar fifty, depending on the uh, error. He's got a couple of them in there, and a nice big cud on the one there. So, um, certainly well worth looking at and holding on to coins that have uh, decent cuds on them. Uh, certainly plenty of cuds to be found on the 10 cent coin, so keep an eye out for that when looking. Uh, use a magnifying glass, a lot easier. All right, let's jump on to... Now, what I've done here is we'll have a look through the sold figures here because um, well, I, I've typed in 1991 Tencent coin, which is one of the lower minted ones, but um, what we quite often find is people selling, say, yeah, this sort of sale here of 1991 and 1997. Here's one with 1972 with those three there. There's a couple of them there. So um, rather than trying to show the individual coins let's look at them as a collective and um, while they might be worth 50 60 cents each as a collective uh, it looks like they're selling for around the two dollars eighty plus postage so you know there's you know obviously there's 1991 which is the lower um, minted coin out of the out of the three um, gaining you know two dollars there dollar fifty there but plus postage so um, some of these are fairly high grade, some of them are uncirculated, so take a look, but um, they've got us selling them in, um, in groups, but uh, some nice coins there, and fairly, well, fairly low circulated condition, I'd say, like, um, so they can hold some value, so might be worth keeping some of those as well. 
Now we had a look at the uh, five cent um, tilted collar coins. There's really only one to look at here right now, and it's it's up for auction. It's got 11 bids currently, and um, it's currently sitting at $12.50. Uh, not the best photo, but we can sort of make out what's going on there. It's always good to look at the rim. Um, yeah, the quality of photos is not great, but we can still see what's happening there. Seems to be a fair way off center, and that, that's what we love seeing is that kind of coin uh, with the tilted collar. And uh, let's have a look and see what they are worth. So we've got a couple of sales here. And uh, we'll have a closer look at them, 99 and uh, 2002, which seem to be the common sort of time for those kind of errors, especially with the five cent coins as well. Um, $22.50 is what they've sold for. Let's have a look at this one a bit closer. Yeah, not it's off center, but it's not like the massive lip that we like to see. Um, but let's have a look at the side of the coin. Yeah, that's nice. And that's what we like to see, the tilted the tilted collar there um, uh, with the milling around the edge. That's, that's a nice error and uh, very tough to find. Um, to be honest, I'd be sort of sad to see them go for $22.50 because they are just uh, that time consuming to find and uh, so rare to find. I generally would just hold on to them because I just love looking at them. But uh, for me, $22.50. Yeah, very cheap. I'd probably consider buying them for that price. All right, so I did a general sort of search on 10 cent error coins um, just to sort of see what people were selling because obviously there's lots of cards and those kind of things that can be found. But if we scan through the list, we're seeing uh, most of them got cut errors, some rim errors. Um, it's good just to have a look and see what people are trying to sell so that you know what to look for and that's what I generally do um, so mainly cut errors and this will be an interesting one someone selling four changeovers uh, with cut errors and uh, I might just quickly jump into this one so we can zoom in I can't see the cut errors but they might be very small. I can't see them in the same spot as what we were looking before on the ribbon. Uh, this are on this side. Oh, they're here. They are. They're on this side of the coin. Uh, tiny little cuds. Oh, it'll be interesting to see how they sell. I think I will watch that particular one because I am curious. Let's see if they actually sell. Alright guys, let's have a look. At the sold list, and let's see what's selling in relation to 10 cent error coins. So there's a large card on a two dollar coin. Uh, I don't, that's it's sold, um, but uh, that's not an error. <laughs> Someone has clearly made that, and uh, yeah, it's taken a bit of time to make it, but uh. That's not an error coin, guys, so don't be fooled by these ones. Any one of us could probably make that in our backyard shed. Uh, coins do not come from the mint looking like that. Uh, but they managed to get eight bids on it. And, uh, yeah, that's a pity, really. Um, all right. Uh, that's the kind of stuff you get to look out for. It's just they're not errors. They're man-made errors. Uh, well, they're not errors. Um, so we've got plenty of, um, this is an uncirculated 2016 with a card on it. Uh, so a few sales there. Hmm. 1966 10 cents suspected. Mint strike planchet rim error variety. Hmm. Not sure about that. Looks like it's been hit with a hammer. Let's have another little look. Mm. I've got a feeling it's it's hit by a hammer or something squished it. But to me, 
looks like I could make that at home so uh, that's generally my rule if it looks like I could make it I don't buy it so uh, neither should you alright guys uh, what's next um, I've got a few mules in there because of the 10 cent error so plenty oh man look at that you wouldn't find this in circulation I doubt but pretty awesome uh, let's have a look so this is a 10 cent coin struck on a euro um, planchet so not sure how that happens yeah. oh it's a two dollar error sorry struck on a 10 cent planchet okay that makes a little bit more sense but um, wherever the mint must get their planchets from it might have been from overseas and uh, or maybe an Australian company makes them and sends the uh, planchets for the euros overseas but uh, in this case uh, one of them was in with the uh, $2 lot and it got minted so yeah not exactly a 10 cent error but a $2 error all right let's go back and let's jump into our last one for today which is uh, something I'm we've been we've been looking at this a fair bit on the channel and that's a 2018 10 cent coin really excited to see what the mintage is on this one actually I can't wait um, so 23 listings 2018 10 cent coin let's have a look uh, so a dollar fifty so this this is very good this is you know if this is going to be a low mintage coin and you're able to get some hold on to them because this this could be huge uh, we don't know we'll find out at the end of the year we feel it's going to be huge um, and uh, yeah who knows who knows hopefully it's the lowest minted 10 cent coin um, so we haven't got many for sale only 23 that can be bought right now so well 23 different sales um, so we saw one here two dollars fifty plus dollar postage two dollars for a bid two bids on that one started at a cent probably um, that'll certainly go up someone selling some uncirculated uh, mint set once um, which are always going to be the highest grade uh, all right so this is what people are trying to sell them for this is a good deal six of them for four dollars sixty I actually just bought some of these before so um, can't seem to get them in bags so I'm uh, having to buy them that way I just want to hold a few since I'm not finding them all right let's have a look at the sold listings and we will wrap up today all right sold listings all right so dollar fifty uh, it's uncirculated there's a bit of a set of them uh, six for four dollars fifty one bid that's a good buy uh, twelve for eight bucks that's a very good buy uh, so what we're seeing here guys that these things are uh, a dollar or two in value already um, four for three dollars three for three fifty six for four eighty so these things are selling and they are very hard to find thanks to those who responded um, I did ask a question the other day about where you guys are finding them and if you're finding them seems to be a uh, fair few around the Canberra area uh, some people in Victoria do have them uh, so congratulations to you guys well done and uh, I'm assuming that some of you have done some hard work to get them all right guys we're gonna finish the video off here uh, please if you like this series give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed before please make sure you do so and uh, hit that bell button listen every time uh, a new video goes up you will get notified Alright guys, thanks for watching. Look forward to bringing a new video to you soon. Bye for now.